Epashas. They are living the lives of kings and princes. But the people themselves are deliberately impoverished. So it is not out of place to compare Nigeria to that place that was described as consuming its inhabitants. Because Nigeria is cannibalistic in the extreme. In recent days, you've heard the story of Okwama, where the soldiers were murdered by a few, and where the soldiers went back with reprisal attacks and leveled almost an entire community, killing indiscriminately. Lekki Toll Gates and the massacre that took place there in October 2020 is another good example of what we have become as a people. Earlier in the year, we were talking about Bokos in Plateau State, where people were killed on Christmas Day like flies. Nigeria is the only place where you find the government talking about repentant terrorists and absorbing them into the army. Nigeria is the only place that will be as rich as it is and you see people desperately scooping out food of boiling cauldrons, packing rice with sand. This is the country where the rulers were hiding palliatives meant for people during COVID. Everything about Nigeria is suggestive of the country that the spies entered where it consumes, it devours, those are the words, it devours, it is a land that devours its inhabitant. It is instructive that it is this same country that could not find five billion for the student loan scheme, that they are busy buying a 160 million Naira Jeep. They are praying billions into private accounts. You have people who should be in jail, rotting in prison cells, presiding over the affairs of the country. And you think that it is not sourcing that we describe such a country as a place that devours its inhabitants. The Nigerian is busy crossing the Mediterranean Sea after surviving the Sahara and the slave markets of Libya. Where, what are they fleeing from? Because it's no, that's not migration. That's fleeing. They are fleeing what has become a functional war zone. How did we get to this point? In my youth, you could go to England without collecting visa. They will stamp your visa at the gate. Is that right there at immigration control that they will give you? The, they will stamp your visa to enter. This is the same country today where you require millions to buy tickets and you need to queue. You see our people queuing in the rain and in the sun to get visas to go out. Sephas, as Sephas, West African Sephas, the Togolese currency has more weight than our Naira today. How did we get here? So it is, and if you remember, this analogy that you are raising from this anecdote, this is an anecdote that goes back over 10 years. It wasn't this bad then, and it's going to get much worse. So mm. how, it, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that we are where we are, but this is where we are. And there is nothing about where we are that is suggestive of any immediate turn around anytime soon. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I am merely speaking to what I see. There is nothing about our country to encourage hope or offer any worthy aspiration.